So the teams have been introduced. There we see the quartet for Leningrad. Kanyagin, Lizichkin, Zimarin, and Pavlov. Pavlov, the joint leading scorer from pool play yesterday, and he was deadly from all parts of the court. Beyond the arc, taking it down the lane, near the quartet for Belgrade. Solujic, Bialitsa, Markovic, and Boscovic. And that is the route that these teams are hoping to take through to the final stage. Remember, it's a 10,000 US dollar check for the winning team. Novice had a whack that picked up that tidy little sum last weekend in the Philippines. They have the opportunity to do so here again this weekend, despite having already booked their place in Abu Dhabi at the end of the season. Neither of these teams have such a luxury. And there we see the numbers on Pavlov. Six feet seven inches tall. Plays in the top professional league in Russia and an outstanding performance yesterday which netted him 20 points over the course of two games. Here's the crossover king, Dragan Bialitsa, playground legend in Belgrade. Possesses the type of herky-jerky quickness and ball handling skills that can leave opponents embarrassed. Demonstrated plenty of physical toughness yesterday. Absorbed all types of contact as he was attempting to take the ball to the hoop. His hook shot was effective as well. As he'll be looking to walk a straight proceedings for his teammates and get them through to the semi-final stage with a win here in the Elite Eight portion of this Prague tournament. So the coin flip will decide, or the coin flip winners will determine whether they have possession or de defend first. The game is underway, 10 minutes on the clock. Remember, the first team to 21 or the team that is leading, when the 10 minutes have elapsed, one point for anything inside the arc, two points for anything beyond the arc. Pavlov into his groove immediately on the turnaround. Leningrad open on their first offense. Bullet pass cross court. Salujic from downtown, can't connect, gets his own rebound. Bialitsa puts it inside, looking to go to work with the post move. It's Boscovic and does so. Spinning baseline, turning back to the middle and getting the jump hook to fall. We are tied at one. Strong drive towards the hoop by Kanigin. Whistle on the play. So it's a trip to the free throw line for Andre Kanigin. Seven points total yesterday. So, Leningrad opening up terrifically. Two offenses, two points. Can Belgrade answer yet again? Bialitsa offloads to Boscovic. Salujic, guarded by the doctor in the low post, goes to the jump hook and makes it. Salujic scoring over Dr. Alexander Lizichkin. Pavlov comes back immediately to move to two points in the game and Leningrad lead by one. Boscovic pulls up from downtown. Rim shot, chases down his own rebound, but he's beaten to it by Kanyagin. Pavlov, got it by Salujic. Goes to the dribble, then beats his man. Terrific play. Salujic caught with his hand in the cookie jar. Here's the finish from Pavlov. Demonstrated his turnaround on the first offense, then got to the glass for that second point. Part of Leningrad's three-point total. Lazichkin puts it on the ground, tries to offload. He was in the air when he made the pass. Easy pickings for Bialitsa. And we have a whistle away from the ball. Boscovic appears to be in a little bit of distress. Friendly handshake between he and Lazichkin. Boscovic having to take a seat on the bench, checking into the game. Is Marko Markovic. One minute, ten seconds gone. Leningrad enjoying a slender margin. There's the crossover from Bialitsa and getting to the hoop. Devastating move from the playground legend. He was asking for a foul as well. But there we see an, an example of that lightning quickness he possesses. 
taken away. Zuba to the hole. Blocking foul called beneath. Markovic, whose nickname is Zubri, assured me that means teeth in Serbian. This is a million watt smile. So he's to the free throw line in a game that is currently tied at three. So Belgrade. Upon two minutes gone, Pavlov in the low block, guarded by Zuba. And Markovic gets the board. Bialitsa, having got to the hole in a hurry last time, puts it inside to Salujic. He's guarded by Lizichkin. The shot clock is ticking down, goes to the hook off the one leg, can't get it to fall. Pavlov guarded by Markovic. Pavlov spins, baseline, offloads, puts it inside, and the score is drained by Kanigin. So we are tied at four. Markovic working on a dribble, has it rejected by Pavlov, showing his prowess on the defensive side of the ball. Markovic tried to steal it back, but did so unfairly. So once again, the impact of Alexander Pavlov being felt all over the court, the passing game, the defensive prowess with the rejection, and then the offensive capabilities, which we all know about. Kanigin for two and drains it. Leningrad six, Belgrade four, seven and a half minutes remaining in this first quarter final. We see an example of the contact that the lightning quick Mr. Crossover is being subjected to in an attempt to slow him down. Because if you don't get a hand on him, he possesses that fast twitch yes. explosiveness as Salujic scores on the interior to tie things up. Good I said tie things up. It's a one point deficit still faced by Belgrade. Leningrad six, Belgrade five. Coming up on seven minutes to play. Boscovich back into the game with some tape around his face. And he's been called for the hook. Wow. Looks as though he's suffered a little bit of a nosebleed, which caused him to go to the bench. Cotton swab. Stuffed up his left nostril. Stuffed up his nostril in a manner of a boxer between rounds. Pavlov with the touch, tries to keep it alive. It's still dancing around on the backboard and hoop. Bialitsa brings it back beyond the arc, takes it back up. Yeah. And then nice his way to the hole. Ties the game at six points apiece. Bialitsa taking a breather on the bench. So it's a different look now for Belgrade. It's a bigger lineup. Referee just in conversation with the table. And that will be a timeout on the floor. Less than seven minutes to play. And we have a tied basketball game. Well, the crowd in attendance really are being treated to some high quality action here to begin this first quarter final. They expect nothing less. And remember, these teams met the quarter-final stage of the Tallinn Open just a week ago. So they're intimately familiar with one another. So, action resumes. Six minutes, 50 remaining on the clock. And we are tied at six. Lizichkin, guarded by Bialitsa. Puts it inside to Pavlov. He's guarded by Markovic. Goes to the right-handed hook. Too strong. Markovic with the board. Clears the arc. Offloads to Bialitsa, who is guarded by Pavlov. Bialitsa is going to have the edge in foot speed here. Shakes his man once again. Didn't do so totally, but this time goes to the hook with the left hand. Spectacular finish from Dragan Bialitsa. Pavlov comes back immediately. Was asking for a foul. Now the ball wasn't cleared. Pavlov saying that he was hacked in the act of shooting. Referee wants nothing to do with that but didn't clear the two-point arc. So Belgrade leading by one, have possession, and it's Salujic down in the block, guarded by Lozichkin, gets to the hoop, can't get the shot to fall. Pavlov fires for two, in and out, rebounds Salujic, Lozichkin tried to take it away. Boscovic, guarded by Zimmerin, and we have a whistle. And a 
and players communicating with one another. This is where teamwork becomes crucial because it's a terrific atmosphere here with the PA and the music. Goes to the left-handed hook once again. And Bialitsa stroking the mic and drill from the left side of the lane on this occasion. In the playoffs, in the pool play yesterday, most of the damage was coming from the right-handed hook. Here he's going to the left hand and he's doing so effectively. Zimmerin goes to the circus shot. Can't get it to fall. Pavlov is mugged between a Belgrade sandwich of Boscovich and Markovic. And so it will be Leningrad ball from beyond the arc. Just under six minutes to go in this first quarter final. Inside it goes to Kanigan. He's working. Goes to the short J. Can't get it to fall. Bialitsa cleans up down beneath the basket. Terrific footwork by Pavlov to take away that interior pass attempt to Boscovich. Not sure whether that was kicked out of play or if it was just the hand that sent it out of bounds. And a referee is signaling that seven seconds should go back onto the shot clock. So Bialitsa will have to be aware of that. As will Belgrade, Bialitsa takes it himself, goes to the hook once again, and he is feeling it in this opening quarterfinal, hitting from both flanks with that familiar hook shot. Lizitskin drives, tries to find Pavlov, gets it taken away. Salujic now, working down in the block, dipping that shoulder, spins baseline, comes back. And we have a whistle on the plate. And a timeout on the floor in a game where Belgrade have established a three-point lead over Leningrad. Remember, Leningrad booked their place in this quarterfinal by topping Pool A in undefeated fashion. Two games, two wins, 33 points. Alexander Pavlov was the joint top scorer of Pool play, netting 10 points in each of the Pool games for a total of 20. Started off this game in hot fashion, but since then, this man with the rock, Bialitsa, has got to the hole almost at will and does so again. Dragan Bialitsa proving to be unstoppable offensively. Pavlov taking matters into his own hands, reduces the deficit to three. Leningrad seven, Belgrade ten, just under five minutes to play. Bialitsa to the crossover, loses the hot hand on that occasion, attempting a really difficult shot. Kanigin, guarded by Boscovic, goes left into the lane. Bialitsa almost takes it away. Pavlov off balance and gets the roll. Incredibly difficult shot executed to perfection by Alexander Pavlov. And we have a one-point game in this first quarter final. Bialitsa from downtown. Rim shot, rebound Pavlov. Wide open is Lizitskin. So Lujic couldn't get across on the rotation and we are all square. 10 points apiece with 4 minutes 10 seconds to play in this first quarter final. Bialitsa stuttering. Dances down the lane, can't get the hook to go. And it's Leningrad who have put a run together to tie this thing up at 10 points apiece. Look at that for an off-balance jumper. And we have a timeout on the floor. We are all square at 10 points apiece. Approaching what's known as money time now. Execution, nerve, conditioning, all of these qualities are going to be put to the test under the pressure of knowing that elimination or a defeat in this game would lead to elimination and no further part in this Prague Masters 3x3 tournament. Bielitsa shakes his man again, takes the contact and makes the hoop. No foul. No, the foul has been called. Such a terrific atmosphere here in Prague that I didn't hear the whistle. But that's why the whistle was blown. One shot to come for Dragan Bielitsa, who has put this team on his back during the course of this quarterfinal, looking to complete the two-point play. Salujic with the board, he has it taken away by Zimmerin. Two points are fired by Kanigin, Bielitsa with the board.
once again initiates the contact by dipping the shoulder and gets it to go off the glass. Dragan Bialitsa is on fire. Strong drive to the hoop by Pavlov. Lots of contact, no foul, see the officials. Bialitsa offloads to Salujic. Rim shot, Salujic gets his own board. Battling in the post. Loses the handle, but into the hands of Bialitsa. He's guarded by Zimmerin, takes it left, can't get it to fall. Rebound hauled in by Kanigin. Pavlov gets free, offloads, perimeter shot, no good. Pavlov keeps it alive and into the hands of Kanigin. Back to Pavlov, steps back beyond two-point territory, offloads right, back iron on that two-point attempt from Kanigin. So, timeout on the floor, less than two minutes to play. Belgrade lead by two. Leningrad 10, Belgrade 12. And this man has been red hot throughout the course of this quarterfinal so far. Just about everything he has put up has fallen. And there have been shots with a high degree of difficulty as well. He's initiated contact, shaken his man and got free. And the crowd here enthralled by the spectacle that they're witnessing. A place in the semi-finals is the prize that awaits the victor. So less than three minutes to play in this first quarter final. Belgrade leading by two. Leningrad 10, Belgrade 12. Two minutes 58 to play. And Bielitsa will have possession beyond the arc. Boskovic, guarded by Lezitskin, spins baseline, gets his balance, offloads to Bielitsa, air ball on that long, short jump shot attempt. Lezitskin gives it back to Pavlov. Look at the defensive stand from Markovic. Lezitskin into the lane. Not Markovic to the floor, no offensive foul, no defensive foul. Lezitskin got the tough shot to drop and reduces Leningrad's deficit to one. Lezitskin now guarding Bielitsa, shaken up again. Can't get it to four, but it's into the hands of Markovic. Now, whistle before that shot attempt because it's a shot clock violation. Strong defensive sequence ultimately. This was the tough finish from Lezitskin. The surgeon by day operating wonderfully in the lane. And it's poked away out of the hands of Kanyagin. Now, which way is that going to go? It's a Belgrade ball. Belgrade leading by one. Leningrad 11, Belgrade 12. Two minutes 17 to play. Salujic down on the block. Thought about turning middle. Comes back to the outside. And then it's a grappling match between he and Zimmerin. Pavlov spinning, whirling, turning down the lane and gets the shot to fall. A one-point game as we hit the two-minute marker. Leningrad 12, Belgrade 13. Quarter-final action here in Prague. The ellipse up. Well, the ball. Up there. Because the usually sure handle. Of the ellipse had just deserted him on a rare occasion there. Turnover was the result. And Leningrad looking to tie things up or take the lead. So inside it goes. And exploiting the height mismatch ruthlessly were Leningrad, Kanyagin shooting over Bialitsa. And we are all square. 13 points apiece. One and a half minutes to go. Bialitsa, my goodness. The underhanded scoop shot with the left hand once again. Pavlov fires. And in boxing out and keeping his eye on the rim, Bialitsa didn't see the ball shaking to coming towards him. But look at the quickness once again from Bialitsa. And the shots that he's putting up, acrobatic in the extreme. Probably worth more than one in all reality, but those aren't the rules as Pavlov steps back. In and out. Markovic has it, guarded by Lezichkin. One minute, nine seconds to go, five seconds on this shot clock. Bialitsa has it, goes to the head fake, goes to the left hand. Not enough on the shot, Lezichkin with the board. Leningrad looking to tie or take the lead here. Kanyagin, Kanigin, guarded by Bialitsa. 
That air ball shot almost turned into an alley-oop attempt, but Pavlov couldn't convert. We are inside the final minute. Salujic working on Lezichkin into heavy traffic, keeps it alive, but then Pavlov says, that's my ball, and takes it away. Lezichkin posting up, tries to find Pavlov, does so. Bielitsa whistled for the foul, and it will be a trip to the free throw line for Alexander Pavlov. Seventh team foul for Belgrade. So that will now be two free throws. So Leningrad can take the lead here. They currently trail by one to the free throw line. Alexander Pavlov, the joint leading scorer from Paul Play. His team lead up by a distance yesterday. And that ties proceedings up at 14 points apiece. Unable to get the second, so we are deadlocked. Overtime, a distinct possibility, but still lots of basketball left. The Bielitsa loses it, regains control, and then he's body checked by Zimmerin. But Leningrad still have fouls to give. Too much contact on the perimeter. So it will be Belgrade with possession beyond the arc. into the middle, into heavy traffic, taken away by Kanigin. But illegally so. Kanigin doesn't agree with the call. He can afford a wry smile. Look at how he sneaked up from the blind side. Double teaming Salujic effectively. But too much body in taking that ball away. So, eight seconds on the shot clock. Be a lips up. Seven seconds on the game clock now. Bielitsa keeping it. We're tied at 14. Go to the right-handed hook. Can't get it to fall. Trying to clear the arc. Lizitkin fires. Now, what's the call here? What is the call here? And the game clock has expired. 14 points apiece. We are headed for overtime. Now, this is Lizitkin trying to get beyond the arc and fire a two-pointer. Before the game clock expired, he didn't beat the clock, so we remain tied. 14 points apiece after 10 minutes of play, and he's overtime. After two points, will win. So what will Belgrade do? Attempt to do it in one shot? Bielitsa has it. Salujic thinks about the two. Doesn't take it. There's one point. Now. Leningrad are trailing, but they have possession. So what will they do here? They've got Pavlov on the floor, the joint leading scorer from pool play. They can win it with a two-point shot. Zimmerin offloads to Pavlov. He's got it by Bielitsa. Beyond the arc, fires, and we have a whistle on the play. Now, my goodness, where was that shot launched from? <laughs> Just seeking clarification on the call here, because it may well have been a shot clock violation. So Boscovic has it in the block, working away, pounding on the inside, goes up strong, misses the hook. So still in the game. Our Leningrad, they can win it with a two. They're going for the one, charging down the lane and getting the one to fall. It's deadlock once again. Crucial possession here, Bielitsa. Guarded by Zimmerin, dances down the lane, the stutter step, goes to the right hand, can't draw iron. So, three seconds remain on the shot clock. Remember, the first team to two points will win this overtime and progress through to the semi-finals. Belgrade need to be aware that only three ticks remain on this shot clock possession. They're going to have to operate quickly. He's got a fire, he does so with a right-handed hook, in and out, rebound Pavlov for Leningrad. Topsy-turvy encounter so far. Lezichkin thought about the two. The next hoop will win this quarter-final. Driving baseline. Offloading to a streaking Lezichkin. Denied on the inside. Whistle on the play. Brilliant defensive stance by Belgrade. Results in a shot clock violation. Hard fought encounter here in Prague at the quarter-final stage. And you would expect nothing less. These two teams simply cannot be separated.
They go down to Stolujic. He goes to work on Lezichkin. Pushes off. Gets the hook to fall. And that is it. The game is in the bag. And Belgrade hooked their place in the semi-finals here in Prague with a hard-fought one-point victory over Leningrad in overtime. Final score after a hard-fought tussle. Leningrad 15, Belgrade 16. The tournament number four seeds are through to the final four stage courtesy of an overtime victory. It doesn't matter where you from, where you from, this is the game.